Hey Doomers, it's June 14th, my name is Reagan, and I've been uploading to this channel for about three years now, two, seriously. This is Strawberry Guava Celsius, you'll have to excuse the mess. We are going through some air conditioner repairs. Most Americans can't even afford a $500 expense, so how are you going to tell everyone to replace all, of, all their appliances with renewable sources, right? That's a joke. So instead of the usual rant, I'm going to do something a little different here and just go through the headlines that Google reports for the term climate change. What I mean is I'm going to just Google climate change. I'm just going to read, click news and see what comes up at top. I usually do this every other day anyways, just to follow up with what's happening in the world. But this would be a little more low key. So I just typed it in and here are some of the top headlines. As I mentioned, our coil needs to be replaced on the air conditioner. So it's currently 82 degrees Fahrenheit in here. It's about... It's about 90 degrees outside, probably feels more like 93. Pretty uncomfortable. Some of the top headlines, on the hottest city on earth, mothers bear the brunt of climate change. This is from Routers. Looks like Jakobabad in Pakistan hit 124 degrees Fahrenheit or 51 degrees Celsius. Uh, the Antonio Guterres warns that more fossil fuel investment is just delusional. All right, let's go back. I got a new phone. Excuse the, excuse the wait. Uh, space bubbles between Earth and Sun could possibly reverse destructive climate change. We're going to put giant space bubbles to refract or deflect light across the universe, specifically in our own galaxy. Where are the aliens? New Zealand considers taxing cow and sheep burps to combat climate change. Atmospheric river that destroyed Yellowstone National Park is part of a climate change pattern. Oh, but this also says Marjorie Taylor Greene suggests global warming is actually healthy for us. I would not even want to see her sources, so I'm not going to click on that. Yo, she bitch. Let's go. Australia has finally woken up to climate change. This from uh, Wired. The newly elected government has promised stricter mission limits and more renewables in wakes of fires, droughts, and floods. The euro is most resilient to climate change. Juan is most exposed, says Barclays. Climate change is making the world more dangerous for women, queers, and gender, blah, blah, blah. A tusk from a woolly mammoth is seen on the banks of... And climate change in a single image. I mean, this is getting crazy. Did I just mention we're going to tax... New Zealand is going to tax sheep? Sheep burps? Like how... What is happening? Guys, what is happening? Analysis. This from the Washington Post. Climate change is increasingly viewed as a public health crisis. Oh, no shit. There's a band called the Affordable Rock and Roll Act. And yes, prominent geneticist White House science advisor is a member. I don't know what that means. The 1977 White House climate memo that should have changed the world. The memo is of unprecedented possibility of catastrophic climate change. Oh, we had warnings before? Oh, isn't that surprising? Um... AMA declares climate change a public health crisis. Who is the AMA? American Medical uh, Association. Survey reveals worries about the impacts of climate change. Hmm. This one, my favorite. Uh, this is from Saul Griffith's vision for the electric future. This gentleman looks a little bit older than me. Got his PhD from MIT in 2004. Uh, studying the intersection between material science and information theory. He goes on to say that he's been protesting since he was 19 and went uh, in Australia to sign the Kyoto Agreement. Um, and he just basically says, you know, we got to basically replace all of our hot water heaters, uh, air conditioners, and everything and consider renewable in mind for the whole entire planet. Except we don't have the production means to make all this stuff. So what a total load of bullshit. Climate change could be triggering a shortage of spicy sauces. Oh, no. 
Dry conditions in western Maine. Oh gosh, here from Wisconsin. Facing existential threat of climate change, potato processors ask farmers to make more for the environment. To do more for the environment. Yeah, too bad Joe Manchin uh, wants to keep pumping coal out because this whole state relies on coal and he can't live without it. He has so much money through his family business there. Manchin, I have a question. Did your involvement with Enter Systems have any effect on why you did not want to support the climate provisions in Build not Back involved. Better? Not at all. Do you think that, that coal should be eliminated from any all. kinds of you have to have, let me climate make provisions sure. going on. forward? Okay. Let me make sure. You understand? Uh -huh. We need a two-path system, okay? You have to have the, uh, the uh, climate, and you have to have the reliability of the fossil. Those two will, will cross sometime. Could be five years, could be ten years, or whatever. You can't eliminate one before the other. You Senator, should coal be phased out eventually as a source of energy? You have, to have, you have to be using every resource you have. Every resource. In my state of West Virginia, 90% of the people get their energy from, I mean, their electricity from coal-fired plants. Climate change is one of the biggest concerns for Seattle Wastewater Treatment Plant. It says more than $600 million in upgrades are planned for the next decade. Hmm, wonder if that will actually help. We beg God for water. A Chilean lake desert turns into, de turns into a desert in Chile. And we're giving kids climate anxiety. It's not necessary. Not necessary. And this from the Daily Mail, climate change could trigger a surge in domestic violence, sexual assaults, and physical abuse against women increased during extreme weather events. Uh, carbon removal industry draws billions to fight climate change. Uh-huh. Nascent technology to pull carbon from, from the atmosphere is, is the fastest growing area. This is from the Wall Street Journal. From National Geographic, climate change is eroding a precious resource, sleep. And torrential rain kills dozens in southern China as it amplifies flood seasons. Someone on my, on my feed recently said that the weather is actually going to get cooler over the next few years because the Tonga volcano is going to erupt and all the aerosols from that are going to cool us all over the planet. Of course, they didn't include any data or evidence or really realize that volcanic activity has been actually increasing around the world in the past several decades. Perhaps cooling off to some degree, but not enough to slow the warming that's already put into the system. And then other people calling, calling the NASA scientists, you know, a crybaby who was uh, demonstrating in front of Chase Bank. Um, clearly, they never looked at the, the data or evidence. And also, I was just, you know, telling my girlfriend this morning, she has an old ex-coworker that thinks that technology will come along and save it for us. This is no different than magical thinking. You know, they used to think this way in ancient Egypt that they could just sacrifice an animal like an ibis or a cat and wish that someone's... Uh, health problems would get better, or their marital problems, or law problems. Anything you have, you can simply worship to a god, fairies, or uh, magical thinking, essentially what it's all bundled under, that it's going to save us. This is operating your life with a very limited data set information, and assuming that it's correct is hugely disastrous, catastrophic, and borderline straight-up idiotic. So I have to cringe, too, everywhere I go. I have to cringe and just bite my tongue. Even at the lake the other day, it was overcrowded with, uh, can we call them children? Like 20-year-olds? Trash, beer cans, tra Cheeto bags, all over. And none of them actually cleaned it up. All the kids came in and surrounded us, and none of them stopped to say, hey, shouldn't we clean up this area first before we enjoy it? No, let's just party on top of it. It's just the epitome of human... Um, just how disgusting and ignorant we are. I'll tell my girlfriend, if I was any crazier than I am now, I would have drew my revolver, shot it in the air, and forced every single one of them to uh, pick up the trash and then jump in the water and just stay there. But I'm holding it together. I'm holding it together. I'm saving it. It's the weirdest thing. It's the weirdest thing that transcends all, all language, you know, reality can't see a meteor coming towards them and when it's 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 in you know it's undeniable it's data evidence you can't you can't dispute data if you enjoyed this maybe i'll do this like every other week or so just go through climate change news it, it just gets worse and worse i missed live streaming too i'll talk to you guys soon 858 subscribers thanks for joining on board 
uh, feel free to express yourself if what pain, you know, what grief cycle, what cycle you're in, how you're feeling lately. You know, let me know in the comments. We're all here for each other. You know, I'm a conduit for, for all of our communal input that, you know, it's difficult. It's difficult maintaining a normal life and working, knowing, without being completely insane and, and having tattoos on your face, you know, that this is all going bye-bye. All right. I'll talk to you guys soon. Ciao.